stranger. At a palace news conference, his top general argued with him. I understand you gave them orders to wait. I and, told uh, them to wait because... There are massive civilians near our troops, and we cannot keep on withdrawing. They asked us to withdraw yesterday. When I talked to Mr. Enrile, he said, you talk to you, we withdraw a little. My order is to disperse the crowd. We cannot withdraw all the time, Mr. President. Without must... shooting them. No, 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 hold on. You disperse the crowd without shooting them. At yung isang kasama ko rin, uh, nahuli, pinasok siya sa isang madilim na kwarto, nilagyan ng kuryente yung dalawang suso niya, yung dalawang utong niya, nilagyan din ng kuryente yung ari niya at kinuryente siya. Ginamitan din ako ng Russian Roulette. Nung Russian Roulette, 38 caliber revolver na merong isang bala pinakita sa akin. Tapos pag lock na ganon, itinutok sa sentido ko, tapos kinalabit yun. Habang tinatanong ako, tatlong beses yun. Pwede mo pang pahag. Grabe po pala yung mga nangyari ng Marsha Lord. Mm. Iba po yung kwento ng naririnig ko sa schools. Pero wala akong maalala na talagang lesson siya. Bibigay siya ng education about that. Sorry po talaga. Sana po maintindihan niyo ako. Kasi po wala po talaga ako alam sa Marsha Lord. I hereby proclaim Ferdinand E. Marcos as the duly elected president. ay naniniwala na bawat isa sa atin ay may kaluluwa. Yan
You know, when I proclaim martial law, I didn't proclaim martial law alone. Uh, it is made to appear as if uh, I, I just uh, signed the decree and said, I impose martial law on each and every one of you. No. I ask the legislature to please pass a law proclaiming martial law because there was anarchy in the country. Now, uh, let me uh, say this. The opposition was strong. And uh, they were members of the Security Council and somehow they adopted the resolution which uh, required that there be a unanimous vote for the armed forces to be able to move. And therefore the armed forces was immobilized. At the same time, I asked uh, um, the um, opposition party to come and join me in a coalition government. I offered one half of the cabinet. And of course they laughed at me and said, why should we join you? We're going to take over the government. By the time you are through with the exercise, you're dead. Politically and otherwise. So, and they uh, refused to join uh, me. I asked the advice of the uh, judiciary. I asked the Supreme Court justices, the you know, Court of Appeals justices, and the members of the private sector. And all of them told me, there's only one man who can proclaim martial law, and that is the president. And you are it. You are the only one who can proclaim martial law. This is why I must carry this particular mark in our history. I could have I could not have transferred it to the legislature. Why? Because the legislature did not have the power. What does the Constitution provide? The uh, president shall be the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Philippines, and he may order the armed forces out to quell any disorder, riot, rebellion, invasion, insurrection, and in case of invasion, insurrection, rebellion, or imminent danger thereof, when the public safety requires it, he may suspend the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus or proclaim martial law throughout the Philippines or any part thereof. What does that provision provide? It provides that only the president can proclaim martial law. I repeat, that is why I had to assume uh, responsibility. And I am not one for shirking duty. The people said there was necessity for proclaiming martial law. And the people said, you are the only the official who can proclaim martial law. So I, I proclaimed martial law. And I sincerely believed that it was necessary to proclaim martial law to install order and stability because there was complete anarchy throughout the country at the time. Now, therefore, uh, part here in your house. Uh, well, you know, having uh, grown up as a student, I got used to living in one room. <laughs> so I have my desk in my in my bedroom, and it's, it, I, it's so that I basically spend most of my time when I'm in the house. Yourself. I was in there for seventy-two days. In your room? In the room. What were you doing inside that room? Driving myself crazy, basically. <laughs> well, when you're, when you're ill, you don't really uh, mind the passage of time. So that, this, that, this, You're talking about the time when you got COVID. Yeah, right? when I got COVID. So if you're not feeling bad, you don't really worry about it. I knew I was better because I was, say, I was getting very bored and just think, when can I get out of here? When can I get out of here? Do you have a morning routine book? So well, yeah. Like, I, what time do you usually wake up? I'm usually up by seven. But after cleaning my teeth, I go straight to the computer and look <laughs> messages and answer my mail and see what's happening, what I missed from the night before. So ah, so hindi kayo nagbe breakfast? I fast. Is that the intermittent fasting? The intermittent fasting. Oh. Yeah, it seems to work for me. Sometimes I forget that I fasted and haven't eaten. And I'll go and exercise. What's your exercise, Bo? Uh, gym. Um, because my schedule is so crazy, I can't do it like before. So that's what I do now, you know, just to have to stay fit, especially after COVID. It's my father's influence. My father was, before the term was invented, he was a health freak. Mm -hmm. And he would exercise at least, at least an hour a day, sometimes twice a day. So you would see him exercise when you were he would make regularly? Me, he would bring us to the mm -hmm. gym and say, come, when we were little. Since you talked about your father, when you were born, he was already in politics. Yes, yes. He became congressman in 47. Mm -hmm. 
and then Senator in 57. That's the time you were born? That's the year I was born, mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I think he was always in politics, at least in his mind. Uh, when I became governor of Ilocos Norte, I got to talk, I had, since I was spending all my time there, I got to talk to some of his uh, friends and the people who were around him when he was still, still living in, in uh, Ilocos. And they said, uh, 16 years old pa lang yan, may kabinete na yan. Ah, really? <laughs> oh, talagang my, my father is one of those, uh, I, I suppose, the most single-minded person I've ever known. If it had nothing to do with his work,